Hey what's up guys in this video I will be showcasing you how to fix your iPhone calls going straight to the voicemail so let's get started now there are a lot of reasons why your calls might be going straight to the voicemail and these are going to be all the troubleshooting steps that you need to do so let's get started the very first thing which you need to do is pull down the control menu put your phone on an airplane mode briefly and then turn it off and that's does a quick network refresh just to make sure there is no issue with the network now after you have done that the next thing you check out is the focus mode section so if you tap on that you see a list of focus modes and if you have any one of them which is turned on you need to turn that off even if do not disturb is turned on maybe your calls are going to the voicemail just because of that so you need to turn that off and after that the next thing make sure this phone is not on a silent mode what you need to do is go into your settings on your iPhone and then go over to the section for sounds and haptics right here there is an option that says silent mode tap to turn that off and along with that you want to ensure that the ringer sound is turned all the way up and along with that there is also a section called ringtone here you need to select the ringtone of your choice so select one or change it to another one to ensure that it's working now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is go ahead into your main setting page you are going to go to the accessibility find out the touch option and then you are going to look for this option that say call audio routing you want to set this to automatic and then you have auto answer calls you want to turn that setting off just like that now after you have done that the next thing is go ahead into the main settings then go all the way down where it says apps tap on that and then go down here to the phone settings under the p section now there's a couple of settings here that you want to take a look at the first setting it is going to be calls on other devices so you do not want to allow calls to go onto the other devices like MacBook or iPads. Now you need to turn that setting off so the calls are not going to the other devices. The next thing you want to do is to go ahead and see where it says silent unknown callers. You are going to turn that off just because if a call is not recognizable, it's just going to go to straight to a voicemail. So turn that setting off. Now in here there is another option which is not showing right now on my device is the call forwarding. If you see the call forwarding option what you want to do is turn that setting off or disable it so it does not forward any of the calls to the other numbers. Lastly what you want to do is to check the block contact list. Here if you find out any number which you have accidentally blocked the caller that you are looking to get your calls from you can unblock them by just swiping towards the left and press the unblock button and your block contact is going to be unblocked and you can now receive the calls from them. Now after you have done that let's go back to the main settings here this time we are going to take a look at the screen time and under the screen time we have under communications here you will tap on communication limits you want to select. Make sure that this is saying everyone so during the screen time and then during the downtime everyone is selected as well now along with that next thing that you want to do is to check if there is a carrier update out in order to check the carrier update you need to open up your settings then go to the general and then about option here you are going to be waiting for 10 to 15 seconds if there is a carrier update it will automatically say update as you can see I don't have a carrier update so I don't have to do it because that's usually the way to update the carriers. To quickly press and release the volume up, volume down and power button in order to restart your device. So I'm going to be doing the volume up, volume down and then pressing the power button without touching the screen like this and I will be holding the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears again. So just keep in holding it just like that and once you see the apple logo you let go the power button now this method is safe and it will not delete any of your data so you don't need to worry about your data getting deleted on your phone basically what it does is shutting down the phone software and reloading the code so that the software related issues causing those phone calls to go straight to the voicemail it will go ahead and fix that now after it is going to be boot up what you're going to do is go into your settings then generals and then the software update section 
here you will find out the latest version of the software which is going to be available if there is going to be any update you just need to update your software because if there is going to be any issue or there is going to be any fix it is going to be in here in the new software update now if you have done all this and you are still not able to find out any solution that your calls are going to voicemail for some reason it could be something on your carrier side so you want to contact your carrier ask them for two different things first thing is syncing on your device the other thing you might also want to ask is if you are using a sim card like a physical sim card do replace the sim card or possibly reactivating your line to make sure it's not something on your account and they can troubleshoot that for you and you guys i hope these methods are troubleshooting will help you out in order to fix this issue if you have any concern or question you can comment down section below thanks for watching be sure to subscribe peace